Nobody move. We're being followed. Are you sure, Peter? Positive. Followed by what? A fox? No, not a fox. The what? <gasps> What's following us? Peter! <laughs> A little sister who won't stay home! <laughs> I knew it was cut and tell all along. I just wanted to, um, practice my diving. <laughs> How did she creep up on us like that? She's super sneaky, runs in the family. Peter, play peekaboo. Sorry, Cottontail, can't play peekaboo right now. We're on an extra dangerous adventure. We are? Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> We've completely run out of radishes. Hungry. You'd better run home, Cottontail, before anything dangerous comes our way. <gasps> um, something dangerous is already coming our way. Uh, uh... Quick, hide! <laughs> Mr. McGregor. Uh, uh, huh? Phew. Kitty cat. Yay! Yay that she was trapped in that basket. <sighs> I wonder where Mr. McGregor is going. Who cares where he's going? The important thing is he's gone, and that means... Of course! Of course what? No, no one, one is guarding, guarding his garden! garden. Oh. Yummy scrummy radishes, here we come! Where did all the radishes go? There were plenty here last time. Well, Benjamin, I guess we ate them all. OK. How about we find some carrots? My tummy's in a bad mood today. <laughs> Wait. I, I can smell a radish somewhere. This way. Gregor's house? We can't go up there. But Peter's right. That's where the radish smell is. Come on, Benjamin. We can do this. Herbaceous trifolium. Uh, yeah, what you said. But they're really lucky, aren't they? Well, there's no scientific proof that they're lucky, Benjamin. She's right. There's no such thing as a lucky clover. What? There has to be. I'm sure it's lucky. And after everything that's happened, we could really use some good luck. My precious magnifying glass. Gone forever. Well, that would never have happened if you'd had a lucky four-leaf clover. Do you really believe that little leaf can bring you good luck? Of course. Hear that? Oh, I'm so hungry. If only I had some tasty turnips or berries or carrots. Yes, carrots. Then 
then I'll be the luckiest rabbit in the whole world. Hungry, huh? Time to play a little trick on Benjamin. Uh, Lily, tell us some more about Clovis. It's really fascinating. Really? Uh, OK. We could start by having a closer look at Benjamin's clover through my magnifying glass. <sighs> if I had it... Well... I suppose we could look at some sketches instead. There are about 300 different types of clover. <laughs> This ought to trick Benjamin. <laughs> and the honeybees get their nectar from clover to make their honey. Mmm, honey. Honey with carrots. Oh, it's making me hungry again. And there goes my tummy along. I'm taking my four-leaf clover and going home to get something to eat. Uh, three, two, one. Wow! <laughs> Now what? Where did those come from? My lucky four-leaf clover, of course. As long as I have this, I'll always have good luck. Can we eat the carrots now? <laughs> no, Benjamin. How about now? No, no Benjamin. Benjamin. Ah! What? Mrs. Puddle Duck. Uh, morning. We'll help you. Oh, this is a disaster. Uh, uh, one, dear. two, three. Uh, oh, 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 dearie me, oh my! We can do this. Uh, oh. oh, ow! I think I've broken something. Oh, dearie me! We need somewhere to stay! Sammy Whiskers got me all befuddled and all bamboozled and then... Wah! Oh, he stole my home! <laughs> stole your home? He can't do that! Poor oh, Mrs Puzzle Duck! Oh, no! Did he take your own cakes too? Benjamin! Yes! Yes, he did! Every last one of them! <laughs> I never should have told him your oat cakes are the best. The best? Uh -huh. Do you really think so? Oh, oh, now I have nowhere to make them. Oh. Don't worry, Mrs. Puddle Duck. We won't let Sammy get away with this. Let's hop to it. <laughs> You rabbits are on my private property. Clear off. It's not your property. It's Mrs Puddle Duck's. I know that for a fact. Yeah, give Mrs Puddle Duck back her home. Well, if that's OK with you, I mean. <laughs> I've got a huge plate of oat cakes here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Who ate all my oat cakes? Oh, yeah, it was me. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> The only thing that will get that rat out of there is if he thinks we have more cake out here. Hmm. Which we do? Um, Peter, those <sighs> are carrots. We know this is a bag of carrots, but Sammy doesn't. So, if we pretend it's a bag of oat cakes, Sammy will come out and get them. Then when his back is turned, one of us can sneak in there and lock him out. Brilliant. So who's going in? Hmm. hmm. Me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should leave. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we can take our big bag of cake with us. It's just too heavy with so much <laughs> cake in it. Cake. Yeah, and Sammy Whiskers is just too smart for us. We'll never get him out of there. Let's just get our huge bag of cake later. <laughs> I am smart. Much smarter than a bunch of rabbits who leave their cake behind. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe he fell for it. <laughs> 
Yeah, Sammy Whiskers must really like cake. <laughs> and now to takey takey, those silly rabbits, cakey cakey. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> hmm. Phew. Peter! Lily! I'm in! He's out! Yay! I did it! I did it! Uh, Peter, why don't you just tell us what you're looking for and then we can help you find it? <laughs> <laughs> Peter? Look out! Whoa! Hey, careful! <laughs> it's my journal! I can't find it anywhere! Journal? You know, the journal! The one my dad left for me! Ow! OK, you've got to think logically. When did you last see it? I was reading it in bed last night. Then I was dreaming. And then I heard a hoot. And then... Of course! Oh, ow! Uh, Peter? Stole my journal! I've got to get it back! I'll help you! Whoa. Uh, oof. Whoa. Oof. Me too! <laughs> Owl Island, here I come! Wait, Peter! Owl Island is half a mile away. I know that for a fact. We can't swim that far. But I've got to get over there. What we need is a boat. Yes, we could build one. The plans are in my dad's journal. Oh, this is exactly why we need to get it back. <sighs> Maybe the squirrels can help us. Squirrels don't have boats, Benjamin. <laughs> no, <laughs> they have rafts. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this. Ears, Benjamin. <laughs> <laughs> that got their attention. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the lift, Nutkin. I'm not Nutkin. Huh? Uh, you're not? I'm not even a squirrel. And neither are my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! Why are you so jumpy today, Peter? It's that rat, Sammy Whiskers. Every time something goes missing, he just happens to be there. I think he's lucky. Every time he finds something, someone gives him a sweet treat as a reward. That's because it's a con. A plot. A scheme to get treats. Ah. Maybe we should try that. Stop worrying, Peter. We're going to go to the party and have fun. Oh, I can't wait till Mrs Puddle Duck's egg hatches. Come on. Hatches? <laughs> Imagine if something that precious went missing. Oh, think of the sweet reward I'll get when I find it. <laughs> So exciting! It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Well, Jemima dear, what's the latest? Do I hear the widdle waddle of duckling feet yet? Oh, not yet, Mrs. Tiggywinkle. But my egg will hatch soon. Oh, I just know it. Now, if you'll all excuse me, I really must check on my darling egg. Mr. Fisher is going to play some music, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, we couldn't have asked for a lovelier day, could we? <laughs> I'm telling you, if one more thing goes missing oh. today... Oh! Oh, my egg has gone! 
Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Oh, please, oh. try not to worry. Oh, oh, that rat took it. I told you, I've got to stop him. <laughs> you stay there, my beauty. Soon I'll pretend I found you and get my reward. <laughs> Aha! Caught you. You've been stealing things all along. Mrs. Puddle Duck's worried sick. Give me that egg back. Just get, get, get back, you middling rabbit. Or else I'll uh, eat this egg right now. You wouldn't dare. Try me. Fine. <laughs> I'll just go and tell everyone what you've been doing. No one will give you any cakes then. Get back here, you... Oh, no, no, he's going to blow my whole scheme. Aha. What do we have here? A duck egg for lunch? Yes, that will do nicely. <gasps> Don't! What? What do you see? Was it the shrew? No, worse. Marvellous. Tonight I'll be sipping on dandelion tea. <gasps> Mr. Todd, what do we do now? Stay down. That's what. <laughs> and keep very quiet. Gotcha. Ah, 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 do! The question remains, what to have for dinner? <laughs> Perhaps I'll treat myself to a little... Rabbit <gasps> stew! Run! <laughs> Rabbits, come back here! Split up! Me show sure Benjamin's burrow! Benjamin's burrow, Roger that! Benjamin's burrow, got it! Hey, that's me! Uh oh, which way do I go? Uh, you, you can run, uh, but you uh, can't hide, little rabbit! Uh, rabbits are brave! Rabbits are brave! Uh. That was close! It sure was! He nearly caught us that time. Hmm. What's taking Benjamin so long? Um, you don't think he's lost, do you? Benjamin? Lost? Nah. <gasps> he knows how to get home, right? Of course he does. Um, I think he does. <laughs> he's lost, isn't he? We'd better find him. Come on, let's hop to it. Maybe I should have gone left, then straight. Or is it straight ahead, then left? Oh, I wish Peter and Lily were here. Oh! Looking for something? The way uh, home. If you're looking for somewhere to rest, there's plenty of room in my cooking pot. <gasps> a little salt and pepper, <laughs> and you'll make a lovely casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Todd, why don't you pick on someone your own size? I could, or I could pick on both of you. Not so fast, greedy chops. Ha! <laughs> well, this is splendid. All three rabbits together. The question is, which one of you shall I eat first? Uh... How about you? Whoa! <laughs> My dandelions! Huh? Ah! What? <laughs> Come on, Benjamin! One day, I'll find out where you live, and then I'll be dining on rabbits for weeks. I promise you that. No way, Mr. Todd! You'll never find out where we live! That I promise you! The plum really as juicy as you say? Imagine the juiciest plum in the world, and then imagine one even juicier. Nom, nom, nom. What are you doing, Benjamin? I was imagining the juiciest plum in the whole world. Come on! Oh no! We'll never get through that! Never say never! Well, there are some nice, easy to reach cabbages over there. We didn't come to Mr. McGregor's garden for cabbages. We came for the last plum. Hurry, Peter! Mr. McGregor! 
Dad is coming! Whoa. Oh no! Uh, here now, what's this? Robots! Peter! Let's go! You won't escape me now! Come back here! Was that about Annette? Well, I I have this friend who wants to get a plum from Mr. McGregor's garden. I see. But the tree has a fence around it and a ditch. And don't forget the net. Mm-hmm. So, uh, what would you tell my friend about how to get past all that stuff? Your friend, huh? I would tell your friend not to try something so dangerous. Right. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, well. She doesn't really know about stuff like that. She's just a mum after all. <laughs> just a mum, am I? <laughs>